Welcome ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Mrs. Blood Tears Glory and this is uh, the next edition of The Reading Corner and my first thing I want to say is thank you very much for all of the positive feedback you guys gave me on my, um, my intro video. I really appreciated all the feedback and I enjoyed seeing it and I hope that you guys continue to give me good feedback and maybe even some good suggestions about things you'd like to review or things, thoughts you have on whatever we're covering this week. So. Um, in this edition, I am going to cover uh, The Hobbit, which was written by J.R.R. Tolkien. And my motivations are kind of obvious in that um, The Hobbit is in theaters right now. Uh, the second edition of The Hobbit is in theaters right now. So it was kind of my motivation. But I absolutely love Tolkien, and I could probably devote an entire episode to Tolkien and his work because he's just the master of this genre. I mean, if you write in this genre, you are going to have to measure up to Tolkien. He, he's the standard. And he's incredibly good. Um, and this book is the first edition of his, um, for, of his Lord of the Rings series. This is the prequel to that. And this is the story of Bilbo. Bilbo is a hobbit. And hobbits are creatures who uh, populate Middle-earth, a creation of Tolkien's, a realm of Tolkien's. And hobbits are unassuming folk. They're simple folk. And they really don't like to do anything too extraordinary. They like their comfort zone. They like um, their uh, beer, they like their pipes, and they like to kind of stay quiet and not get involved in things. And so it just so happens that one day Bilbo encounters, it, or is encountered by a wizard, the mischievous Gandalf. And Gandalf, of course, convinces Bilbo and actually tricks Bilbo into going on an adventure with 13 dwarves to reclaim their homeland, uh, which had been taken by the evil maniacal Smog. So he begins on this journey, definitely outside his comfort zone and not even with a proper handkerchief. And he journeys across Middle-earth with the dwarves. Um, there's a lot of adventure in this book. They are a lot of, um, they, a lot of uh, cunning uh, ways in which Bilbo has to get his friends out of trouble. Uh, the trouble that they find themselves in, uh, they have to confront trolls and they, have, they meet the elves of Rivendell. And then they are captured by spiders and have to, uh, are, well, they're captured by goblins and then they have to get away from goblins. Um, it is there in the Misty Mountains that Bilbo finds a very precious object and meets the sinister golem. And through that leads to a lot of other adventures, including uh, the, the uh, not so benevolent elves of the woodland realm. And then they met the men of Dale and all over across Middle-earth until they get to the Lonely Mountain where a secret door leads them to a sleeping smog. And it is the encounter that Bilbo has with smog and the follow-through that makes this an incredible adventure. There's great detail. There's great hope and courage. It's about finding who you are. It's about little people making great uh, contributions to, uh, to great quests. Uh, it's about greed, it's about overcoming your, uh, your limitations, it's about finding out the true purpose of things. It's a great story, a uh, great middle school story. Kids um, probably about fifth grade and up could really enjoy it. Families could enjoy reading it. We've enjoyed reading it as a family. And uh, it's, um, it's great for adults as well. So my first offering, The Hobbit, not done justice by any film, but I'm certainly, um, what's going on in the theaters right now, uh, is uh, is a very uh, very theatrical uh, presentation, and I'll leave that to other people to comment on. But Hobbit is definitely a joyful and uh, a simple tale about simple uh, ideas of overcoming adversity and finding out what kind of contribution one can make in big and you know woesome uh, battles and big and woesome. Uh, obstacles. So I think you guys will all enjoy it. I hope you do. If you want to, you can leave me some comments about your your thoughts on The Hobbit. I first read this hot, this book when I was in seventh grade, and uh, I've enjoyed it ever since. It was part of my reading homework in school, and so and I've enjoyed all of this, these books ever since. So we will be covering the other books that Tolkien has um, in later editions, and I look forward to covering with you them. So in, until then, you find yourself a quick reading corner, and I hope you enjoyed The Hobbit.